Do you know what is really pissing me off in 3D printing? Fade prints. And I fortunately, I already have all of them. For me, about 90% of fade prints are caused by bad adhesion between printed part and usually glass bed of a 3D printer. That's why I love Ender 3 so much. Thanks to this build plate, there is no problem with adhesion at all and sometimes it's even hard to remove printed part. Even though I'm not really into upgrading my 3D printers, because for me this is just a tool like a drill or jigsaw, I just want it to work every time I need it. I don't need super quiet printer, I don't need all the fancy features, but sometimes it's nice to have some of them, I just want it to do its job. So even though I never really did important upgrades to my printers, I can't wait to upgrade the CR10 and probably CR10 mini with this build plate. Cool thing about that is that you can stick one part of this to your printer and this is removable and very flexible so I hope it will be easy to remove parts out of that and those two parts are magnetic so you can just do like so and they are pretty strongly connected together I think I will take off the glass bed of the CR10 and stick it directly to the aluminium bed of this printer and I should also mention that this is made especially for the CR10 so the size of it is 30 by 30 cm and if you would like to use it on a smaller printer you have to cut it with a knife or scissors. It was really easy to mount it. The quality of the sticker is quite high, so it sticks very well to the aluminum bed of the 3D printer. Calibration is just as easy as with any other printer, and right now to test it, I will print part of my next project. I am currently working on it, and it should be ready by next week. Print came out perfectly, there is no unwrapping, perfect build adhesion and another cool thing that I forget to talk about is that you don't have to use any kind of raft or brim for your print so there is no any post-processing that you have to do except the supports of course. And that's it for this video, it's a very short one, I just wanted to let you know what is in my opinion the best upgrade to any 3D printer and show you how you can avoid failed prints. I hope you enjoyed it, thank you very much for watching, keep making, bye!